Well, welcome to this next film in the little series we're doing called Percy's Progress. Uh, Percy now is just what, about 42 weeks old. Um, and as you can probably see and hear, the weather's really changed. We've had it very, very warm over the last few weeks. So it's been a bit difficult for me to do too much with him. And you may also see that we've actually come out of the garden. We've come down to our local playing fields where I've been practicing his, his hunting. And today's little film is going to be about um, hunting and how I'm working on getting him to work a nice tight pattern around me. I can't take any credit for this technique. Uh, in an earlier film I mentioned uh, our friend Fran Ardley from Tarncray Gun Dogs. She taught me this and to be honest it's been a revelation for me in getting the dogs to hunt nice and tight. Uh, my normal process was that I would put tennis balls out one side, one side, one side and then I would zigzag around and it kind of when I look back it's made the dogs push on a little bit but this technique gets them hunting nice and tight uh, in a nice close area. So I'll just go through the process uh, of how I, uh, how I built this up. Uh, in an earlier video you would have seen uh, me doing it in some stick piles with uh, Percy up at the wood before we got this lockdown. But now I'm trying to develop this pattern in a more open area um, and this is just an area of, of rough grass. There's no scent here at all so basically he's going to be hunting for, um, in this case they're going to be little dummies. Now, as you'd have seen in previous videos, uh, Percy's really got a strong retrieving instinct, and this is something I've been building up um, over the previous months. He loves tennis balls, he loves fur balls. But for this exercise, what I've been doing um, is using these little snipe dummies from a company called Quest. Now, these are brilliant little things. They're only about, I don't know, three inches high, but they're quite heavy. So when you're in longer grass like this, when you throw them out, they actually really bury themselves. So the dogs have got to get their noses down to really hunt them out. I just found when I'm... So the way I start this exercise is I just basically give him a straightforward little scene retrieve in the area and this is just to give him an idea of where he needs to be hunting. So he's quite steady now, I can take him off the lead. Stay there, leave it. Make him wait a little bit. Get out. Straightforward little retrieve but you can see already he's having to get his nose down because that dummy has just buried itself in that long grass. Good boy. Good lad. Here. Boy, sit. Okay, I'm just going to give him one more just to really get that picture imprinted. Stay there, leave it. Just making him wait a little bit longer now. Get out. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Okay, so my next stage now, heel. Uh, uh, uh. You can see he's having real good fun with this. He loves this game. So the next stage now is, I'm going to throw this out, but I'm actually going to hide his eyes. So he won't see where it lands, but he'll hear the noise of it. And that is what's going to drive him to find it. Because he knows now there's something out there to find. And that's what will get him hunting. Wait, leave it. I'm actually going to throw it down quite hard. You see how that little dummy bounced off then? So the sound of where it was is going to be different to where it landed. Wait. Making him wait. Now this is the bit I'm teaching him now. He's I'm now starting to give him a cast off. I've tried it with my hands and he tends to jump up to try and bite my hands. So what I'm doing, I'm putting my hands in my pockets and I'm just making a clicking noise with my mouth. Move slightly forward. Good lad. Good boy. Good dad. Uh, uh, uh. He tends just to throw these around a little bit, but he's holding on to them. Good. Good boy. Okay. The next step in this exercise is to actually increase the number of uh, plants that I put out. So I'm going to put three dummies out in this case. Hide his eyes again so he can't see them. And what you're doing by doing that is, I don't want him to keep going out, finding one retrieve, coming back and thinking that's the exercise over. Um, and also, it, it further uh, enhances and further embeds that little click command that, hang on a minute, there's something there to find, I'm going to get my nose down to try and find it. So this is the way we do it. Hide his eyes the same, leave it, stay there, wait, wait, wait. I put the, the dummies, I'm throwing them out in different directions, wait. And you just see they're skidding off a little bit, wait, leave it, wait, wait. Giving him a little minute makes it more difficult for him. Wait. 
I keep my hands in my pockets when I click him off because what he's done in the past, he, he tries to jump up and bite my hand and that's not an unusual thing with cockers. Also sometimes, wait, sometimes as well uh, with these, especially cocker spaniels, if you use your hand that can induce them to make a little yip and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just using my click on my tongue and he knows now that means to get your nose down He's working that wind really nice now. He's building up a really nice natural pattern. First dummy there. He just touched that. Good boy here. Good lad. Good boy. Hold it. Good lad. Here. Ah, ah, ah. Here. Now I want to set him off after each retrieve. Again, he knows there. That click now. Get out. Get my nose down. I've got to find something. Touch that second one. Good boy. Good lad. Here. Good boy, wait. Sit. Sit. Good lad. Give him a minute. So we've got one more out there now. Just that little click. He knows now I've got to get my nose down. I'm out hunting. Now you can see I'm not having to use any whistle on him. He's staying nice and close to me. I'm not giving him any hand signals. I'm just letting him work the wind, working up and building up his own natural pattern. Just encourage him on a little bit. And this is where I want him at this stage. As he grows in confidence, he'll start to pull out a little bit on me. I'm not worried at this stage if he goes behind me. Good boy. Good lad. Just going to encourage him a little bit. He's just struggling to find this last one. To be honest, I can't remember where I put it. I'm not having to zigzag about now because I just want him to be built up that natural pattern. You can see that. I can just see the dummy in front of me here, so I'm just going to work him across it. He'll win that in a minute. Good lad. There you go. Look at his tail action change. Good boy. Yeah, good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Here, here. Sit, sit. So, there's my three dummies. And I've got a test now. Does he know what that command, that clicking in my tongue, what does that mean? So the way I test that, and I won't do this a lot because it's, it's almost like dry hunting. And this is how you can get a, start to really get your dog slowing down a bit. They get a bit sticky because there's nothing for them to find. So I'm just gonna hide his eyes. He's blowing a little bit already. Take his hides away. Now, in theory, all I need to do is just click my tongue and he's going to think there's a retrieve out there for him. There we go. Nice pattern already there into the sun. I'm not going to hunt him too long on this. I'm going to put a dummy down for him. Pull him across. Encourage him on. Good boy. Thought he winded that then. This wind's making it really difficult. Good lad. Good lad. Up, pick it up. Good boy, yes. Sit. Good lad. Well done. Ah, 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 ah. Here. Sit. Sit. So, there you have it. This is something I'm going to be working on quite a lot over the next few weeks. Um, the weather looks like it's going to stay quite cool during the week. You don't want to be doing this when it's baking hot because the dogs dry up. You can already see he's puffing and panting. Um, it's quite strenuous this for them, especially for a young dog. But I'm really pleased. He's already, I can already see in him, he's building that quartering pattern up. I'm not having to use my whistle to turn him. It's becoming quite natural. Um, I'm really pleased with that and we're making some good progress on that, aren't we fella? Good lad. Well done. Good boy.